What's up guys, Guardian Graft, and we are back, and, uh, yeah, so anyway, today we are doing the Lions, but before we start that, I just want to go ahead, and I'll get to that here in a second. I made a waterfall right here, just kind of leading to the hippo exhibit, because, I don't know, I think that waterfall just looks kind of nice. I don't know what it is, but it kind of makes it look a way cleaner going into that. And then also, we got, uh, I brought in some trees right here, and I brought this path right over here, and I uh, made some umbrellas for these, like, uh, bench like for the seats to eat for people to eat because uh, I made like another area over here for like people to get food and all that and uh, yeah I decided to add in some umbrellas and I did the exact same thing for the uh, for the food area over there I'm just gonna call it a food court because uh, there's nothing better I can think I just pretty much copied the design over to here I of course did a few different things different uh, but uh, yeah so we got all that and uh, yeah anyway so uh the path leads through here, and this right here will be the lion exhibit. So I went ahead and just kind of marked it out a little bit, and I went ahead and built the path and all that. And just so that we have a little bit more already pre-built, so it's easier to, you know, just kind of see what I'm trying to do. But the brown concrete right there will be um, the fence, obviously, and all the red will be like a um, the mountain, kind of like with the hippos. But here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be using uh, these blocks right over here because I want to try and give this mountain a more of a kind of like terracotta orangish dull orange like effect while still trying to keep in some of the gray and all that so that's kind of what i'm wanting to do for this exhibit so uh yeah without further ado let's go ahead and just time lapse working on this uh little mountain right here Alright, so nearly an hour later, we have gotten this, and I am really proud of this mountain, I must say. I do like it. It was pretty much about how I was expecting it to look. I do want to try and connect the mountain with this over here by adding probably like more stone and all that, just trying to make it shift better. But I do want to try to connect this up over here, just to kind of fill in that gap right there. But uh, besides that, this thing looks really nice. I was thinking about adding more rock on the outside over here. But uh, I just decided to change my mind, keep it 100% uh, stone on the inside. And I got inspiration kind of for this from the uh, zoo, my not really local, but somewhat near me zoo, um, Riverbank Zoo. So they have like kind of like the line exhibit. Uh, it kind of has like a straight drop down right here just to make sure the lines don't go down there. Then it has like a uh, area where the lines would hang out at. And then there's just kind of like the uh, all sorts of like little indents in the rocks where the lines can lay. But it's kind of like a solid color. That's why I decided to make it a little bit more like Minecraft. I like, and I decided to add in some gray just to give it better variant. And I think it turned out really well. The den, this is not the best den I've ever made. But uh, I didn't want to like bump into too many of these and take up too much room. So I just kind of uh, made it big enough for like three lines to fit in if they really tried to get in there at the same time. But, uh, yeah, this right here is a pretty nice exhibit, I must say. So, uh, now we are done with all of that. Now we can start working on the fence. So, the fence, I kind of want to take inspiration from the ostrich exhibit over there. But I do want to make a few changes to it. So, first off, uh, what I want to do is, what's going to stay the same, is that that's going to be the fence post right there. And what I actually want to do is, uh, I want to get a, uh, I wonder what an item frame would look like on top of this. Because I think it kind of helps it blend better with the bricks. Because the oh uh, yeah, it would I think, and it does look like the acacia right there. So I think it might look pretty good. I would say that doesn't look too bad. But uh, so then right over here will be stone brick, and then every single like of those fence posts right there will be the stripped log. And then right down here, I'm gonna have that right there, which means I do need to make sure I get all these corners like that, because it will show some of the corners. But, uh, yeah, this right here, I think, will turn out really good. So, let me just go ahead and get this fence pattern going, and, uh, yeah, we'll be right back when it's done to see how much we like it. 
and I added this right here in and this looks actually really nice along with this. I think these two really complement each other and what I decided to do is I put blaze rods inside of the item frame to add in some extra decoration and I try to angle them to where it kind of matches where the glass is coming out of and I think that makes it look a little bit better so I like the way it kind of looks like the cliff is over here but the cliff kind of forms the uh the fencing over here and I think that looks really nice so uh, now we need to go ahead and do some terraforming so uh yeah I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do but uh you'll kind of know what I'm going to do because I'm going to be time lapsing it I've been trying to do more time lapses instead of just doing like a full on cutout so that way you kind of know what I'm doing even though it's like sped up on like four to sometimes eight times speed but uh so yeah let's go ahead and get on to terraforming or whatever it's really called i don't even think this what i'm doing is called terraforming i think it's called texturing terraforming is like mountainous stuff but uh yeah let's go on with terraforming texturing whatever whatever you want to refer to it as Alright, now that this place is all terraformed up, and I don't think I put that in the time lapse, but, uh, yeah, I did do that. I think I ended the time lapse, and I was like, do you know what, I want to add this in. I don't feel like, you know, recording that much, but all I really did is just took, took a bunch of slabs and staircases, just kind of angled them to kind of make the the watering hole, I guess I can just refer to it as, since it's like in a savanna, just to make it look more curved and shaped and all that, and then I kind of did a mixture of gravel and a site, coarser and granite down in there and i think it doesn't look half bad but so anyway we need to go ahead and get going with these rocks and then the trees and uh actually i'm just gonna go ahead and add in the sugar cane around this over here fake i think yeah let's not add in a sugar cane i think it makes i think it just looks way too green but so anyway uh yeah let's go ahead and start working on some rocks so the rocks i do have one thing i do want to try to make a prod rock kind of like from the lion king but not that massive Kind of like a smaller one to where and I don't want it to be too big because I want the guests to be able to like, you know, see this right here. They can look in there. So I want it to be about right in there. So I want it to be mainly out of stone, just to kind of offset all of that back there. So I want these rocks to be mainly stone and then some granite and all that just to kind of make it different from all of the background back there. Alright, and now we got all the rocks added, and I definitely did way more than like two to three more. I did. I decided to just make this more of a rocky area, because I, I just felt like it kind of needed it. So, uh, yeah, so here has a good bit of rocks and all that. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get working on the trees. So, I want to add like, I want to add like, uh, one normal Minecraft tree that looks actually really nice. And probably, I don't know how many trees I want to add, because like, I want one like right over there. I want one about right there. But I don't know if I want any more than that because I feel like it might kind of overcrowd it. I mean, I could do another one like right there. So it's like, so I can do like one, two, and three. I think that might look kind of good. I do know for a fact I want the normal Minecraft tree like right here. So let's go ahead and put this in and it doesn't look bad. It's, it's definitely one of the better trees. But I want to try to get a um, one of those ones that have like the, uh, the I just like to call it the forked tree. It has like two different branches that split with two different you know, with the two different uh, types of, uh, where it kind of splits, uh, but we're getting, like, actually some surprisingly decent savannah trees. This one right here I don't really like as much, it's just the branch kind of, like, splits weird at the very top. But, uh, we're getting some surprisingly very good savannah trees. Okay, crap, I just did that. Um, look at that. I love that. That's my favorite type of savannah tree right there with the tiny, with the tiny little fork in it. That looks nice. Anyway, let's go ahead and get another one going. So, I think i do want to add three i do not want another one 
I might not even make my own tree because these Minecraft's default savanna trees look just fine, honestly. That right there, I actually really like. I like that tree. I like it a lot. Do you know what? It can stay. It can stay. I'm just fine with that tree. But uh, yeah, these right here are the three trees. We don't really need that anymore. We do need the bone meal though for later. But now we can go ahead and get to adding in the uh, pretty much everything else. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and grab everything I'm going to need except for, the, except for that right there. So, you know, it kind of leaves that, still gives a flat vibe and all that. But now we need to go ahead and get a little bit of, like, I like to just refer to them as, like, tumbleweeds. But they can also be, like, uh, like a dead bush as well. So now we are done with those two. And let's go ahead and just get the bone meal ready because we're about to need it really, really soon. So now we just got to add in a bunch of dead bushes. Throw down some ferns and grass randomly on the uh, core dirt and all that. And then we can just use bone meal make the double tall grass and then also just bone meal lot on the normal grass so yeah let's go ahead and get to work on that all right so now the exhibit is complete and look at that that looks this area is honestly solid top five exhibit for me this area is definitely a top five exhibit it probably would not be so high up on the list if the terrain wasn't like that and the background but uh besides that uh it's just a really nice exhibit overall. I really like the way it turned out, and I really like the fencing as well. I like how it blends in with all of that. But anyway, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and add in some of these really fast. So let's go ahead and get a lion in here, the male of the group. And uh, so there's only, like, I think one to two male lions. Uh, oh, God, these right here are the type of things that do that, don't they? This is why we can't have good things. Wait, what's the, what's the, is a group of... Wait, I forgot. What's the... Oh, it's called a pride, isn't it? The... Uh, the gr a group of lions. I don't, it's not a pack. It's definitely not a pack. Packs are like dogs. But uh, I think it's a pride. A pride of lions. That sounds that sounds right. But uh, let's go ahead and get a few female lions in here as well. Here's the thing. I like the female lions way more than the male one because the male one. I don't know what it is, but like I swear, it, like its neck looks like it's way too raised up. Smaller prod should be just fine. Oh yeah, he's, he's getting up on prod rock. Look at him, being the alpha Chad that he is. Uh, but I feel like. Three is just fine, because I don't want to add too much. I'd say three is just fine. One lion and two lionesses. But uh, let's go ahead and put all of that up. And remember, if you want to name any of these uh, lions or lionesses or any other animal that's in the series, just go ahead and comment down below. I'd be down to name them. Uh, you know, so uh, yeah. Uh, that was the lion exhibit. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, catch you guys next time. Peace out.